Okay, how's it going, everyone? I am Fire, and this is probably going to be a quick, pretty quick video compared to the other ones so far. Um, I'm going to try to do a dungeon or two here. And so, yeah, I did Wizard on the Desert Rose, and now I'm going to do a Sorcerer. I think just because I haven't played them uh, since basically I unlocked them, I'll do uh, Elf. Oh wait, let me double check. I forget what badges I did uh, on this dungeon last time. Okay. Well... Yeah, I might actually not even worry about any of the badges. Okay. Oh, right. I unlocked um, that I can pay for uh, preparations in starting with uh, gods. So right now I only have Earth Mother or Mysteria. Um, so if you pick that, they will spawn. It makes um, you get a negative. So like Mysteria, the PAD gains 25. Um, it reduces it by 25%. Um, which actually, that's one of the reasons I take Mysteria is for the PAD gain. Um, but it's not too bad. Earth Mother can be pretty bad because it creates double the plants. And... Uh, a lot of later levels are tight, so I usually, um, I almost never actually pick any of these besides, um, there'll be one later on I can use that will just make an additional god spawn. So we'll do bet on boss for more money. I about doing the bear mace. That's normally one of my preferred preps. Uh, but it depends on the, the level. Uh, yeah, so I'll just do those. Okay, so I'm playing a uh, sorcerer. And um, the sorcerer, I get life back when I cast spells two per a mana spent uh, does not scale up at all okay so I got an I'm a wall you know what I think I'll do okay so I'm going to attack them and then use I'm a wall here. Because I know I can get around because of that enemy there. Otherwise, I wouldn't do that. So I healed back up to full because I casted a spell. And so now I get to kill them and I get plus two bonus experience. Okay, so I think this is another god. Uh, these all look different, so I'm trying to think. Judging from what's here, this might be Dracul. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, well, why don't I just... Oops, not exit. Yeah, that'd be great. Um... Oh, Jehora Jehayu! Oh, yes! The god of randomness. <laughs> uh, so, one of the reasons I like Jehora Jehayu uh, to start with, actually, is I get a... Um, uh, what is it? Wait, what? I get a wait, what? Which is one of my favorite glyphs. Did it give me starting PD? Um, uh, 
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I'm pretty much screwed, I think. I don't have Ivo Wall. Which is fine. That, so this, I assume we'll unlock the, the god. Um, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I don't have a way to get around to the exit. Um... <laughs> oh, rewinding, sure. I, uh, sure. I guess that lets you know what's in the dungeon. I, um, oh, okay. It looks like it starts me from my last, whatever I killed last. Okay. But yeah. So I don't want to do that until I get like, oh wait, what? That's what I would I'd want, right? All right, let me make sure. I don't think they're magic immune. No, they do blink. Um, oh, okay, so actually I could get through it. Um, that means they teleport. Blink's actually one of the more annoying um, like uh, abilities that enemies can have. They'll teleport every time you attack them. Oh, there's a wait. What? Okay. Uh, and now let's let's try. Oh, I sort of grabbed thing at the PD that was at the walls. Okay, so should just be able to do that, and then we can get out of here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, dude, it doesn't do the explanations. Jehora Jehiu is basically the god of randomness. Um, so. Usually the very first thing you want to do is you want to do petition. Um, I will randomly get put. I'll either get PD or I'll get punished for things. Jahora Jahey you likes. Uh, it's they like a lot of stuff. Um, so actually there's no way to get punished by them um, other than this. So once you petition, um, you'll never be losing PD besides when you take the other boons. But they uh, they give you the wait what because they really uh, they like you using wait what uh, they like I'm a fight too um, you'll just get PD for exploring I'm trying to see if it's giving me yeah it hasn't given me any negatives yet oh yeah I don't I don't remember if I had said uh, last time when I was uh, going over them just as I ended the video uh, so you get plus five mana, um, so you start at 15, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we got an Earth Mother. I did get an Ima Wall, so I could convert to Earth Mother um, at some point if I wanted to. You know, I actually might be able to kill them. Hold on a second. Um, oh, I'd want to do an I'm a wall, right? Oh, but I gotta teleport him first. So, yeah, okay. Actually, I want to heal back up. No, not quite. Shoot. Ah, oh, see, I got punished. Um, so I got cursed, and then I got weakened. Um, so I'm almost a, the 45 PD, so I can um, petition to not, not get punished anymore. <laughs> All right. For a price, Jehora Jehu will stop randomly punishing you. This will not protect you from any desecration punishments. Um, so you can desecrate um, altars you're not worshiping. Earth Mother is actually a very good candidate for that. Um, and the first one, you'll get plus 30 piety. Especially once I get the potions that let me uh, cure my... Uh, um, any 
corrosion. I was trying to read the name of the, the mod uh, that you get. Yeah, any corrosion. Oh, there we go. Now I can definitely kill them up here. Okay, so what I want to do next um, is do the plus hit points. Um, this is another good god for uh, rogues. Um, get that plus because it's plus 20 hit points um you have to give a uh, health potion and there's a mana equivalent where you get plus three mana um also um that's uh, yeah usually i'll do at least one of each and oftentimes two of each oops i forgot to, i think i wasted mana bad fire I wonder, I might be able to kill the meat man. Do a level four enemy. Okay. Oh, and I got 20 piety. So use a health potion. Now my max life is 55. I'm gonna I'm a wall them so I can get the bonus experience out of that enemy. So I think I will try to kill that meat man too. So this won't quite level me, um, which is good. I have any other level ones? Um, I think I'm gonna do actually a level two. Um, I got that one there, but this way I don't have to explore as much. Oh, I forgot. Oh, never mind. Well, I'm still going to do the level five. Uh, they were slowed, so I, I, I get I get the plus one experience when I uh, use the eyeball wall. Out of them. They, I wasted so much, like basically black tiles. Dang. Okay, so don't want to kill them. They're actually good candidates with the sorcerer uh, because I can um, heal back without having um, to go explore tiles with their um, essence transit. Wait, where did I... didn't I... Oh, they're there. I was going to say I should have slowed something and I couldn't find where they were. Oh, I didn't see that snake there. Actually, that's a good candidate for me to attack. Um... Yeah, I'll do that since that way uh, I don't need to explore more tiles. Okay, so they're going to be dead in a hit, so I think I'll try to kill this level 6 goat. I mean, level 7. <laughs> Got enough PD, so now I'm gonna get plus three mana. So I, you can get a very big uh, mana pool. Uh, well, uh, 25 uh, is the max.
All right, I'm going to use Eyeball Wall here. Um, should be able to get around that. Oh, uh, I thought they were going to be dead. Or, I mean, I thought I was going to have enough hit points. Shoot. Okay, I got to end this wall. How much space do I got? Okay, I do have space to get that. Yeah, let's just grab it. again for the first time oh I forgot there's that level two enemy there I was trying to wait what on them. I didn't have enough. Oh wow, there's some enemies. Hopefully it doesn't resist. Uh, okay, good. Um, so I'll just convert this. Uh, another thing that Jahora Jahayu likes, yeah, is when you convert stuff. Getting more hit points is nice. Just trying to see if there is... Uh, I think I picked up all the potions. There's, there's always four uh, or three in the dungeon. You always end up with four uh, by the end if you don't use any. Unless you're playing the thief. Okay, so yeah, I should definitely try to kill that snake. That's actually dumb. I should have waited to I'm a wall since uh, any other class, because they have a lot lower maximum uh, mana, I would want, want to do it. Um, not do it that way. Um, shoot, I actually better get so I can do it three times. Oh, you know what? That was overkill. Okay. Well, I'll do it twice on them there. And then...
Shaking my head, I, I keep on screwing up. Not, uh, okay, let's see. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> I played the sorcerer. It's important the order of how you uh, attack and use the mana so you heal back. Um, sometimes it's it is better to to attack where it's not going to be beneficial for your for your healing back. Bloodstain says what? So yeah, I almost, almost said it again. I'm like, no, I want to attack the meat man first. And then use I'm a wall here. Oh, they resisted. Yeah, when they resist that, it's uh, no, just doesn't work. Oh, I was like, what is that tentacle thing? Okay, so that's got to be a shop. Yeah, again, I'm not used to seeing uh, these outlines. Now, I said uh, across water, usually, like the enemies you might see. I wouldn't say they're levels, though. Uh, but it's nice that they added this because literally you could have a group of enemies. Like, I, I could end up having a group of enemies perfectly concealed in these five blocks. Like, all five. Like, you could literally have something like that happen. And so it's kind of nice having it to where um, you don't have to discover it um, to, you know, know there's something there. I, I like that. that. That's a welcome change. start attacking them the problem is i want i want to explore but um i guess i could attack them because i can't kill one of these in just a turn they have too many hit points oh i'm gonna level i didn't realize that Good thing is with uh, the mana shield, um, I'm doing magic damage uh, when something hits me. So something like that, uh, this tower of goo with all that resistance, I break through um, more of it um, because I'm doing magic damage with the mana shield. That, that's it added to whatever damage you're doing, uh, but you have to get hit. So it's when they, they hit you um, that they take Eight ma magic damage when I'm at level eight.
generally I'd want to stack the fire, um, but because I, I heal, I don't want to waste uh, um, health either. So with this character, because each time I attack with the burn duress, it stacks, um, oh, right, I got to right click for it to stay, it stacks a burning. And so uh, I get, if I keep on just attacking with that, uh, when I'm low on health, um, it will do, it's just one more damage, uh, but it keeps on stacking until I attack them with something else. Um, but so, yeah, if I attack them three times in a row, that's a good amount of additional damage. It's like six, I think. Um, then if I attack them three separate times um, with the burned ass. Again, a lot of the things, they don't seem like a lot, but when you do um, a lot of, um, yeah, try to know the rules and know, like, what's going to happen, then you can, like, assess what's going to get you the most, like, damage, um, the way you can kill these bosses the easiest. Now here I can get a few stacks. Uh, actually, I'll stack it three times. I think this time I'll, I'll use some potions. Oh man, so they have four burning. If they had five, uh, they would just be dead. Um, but I should be able to just, uh, oh, I can just explore two squares. Yeah, then they're dead. Um, I think I want to see yeah, if there's... Uh, it seems like there's not been secrets um, yet. But I want to see uh, if I can find any. Oh, I should have went underneath. That would have let me explore all in one go. Or in two goes, I mean. Oh, so there I couldn't see the outline of that. Um, Oh, I almost thought for a second because there was like a gap there that 
I thought I learned a secret, yeah. No secrets. Just look out right here. Let's see. Maybe I gotta find the tinker before they start appearing. Alright, another 570. The loathsome, sorry, the loathsome creatures felled by your hero were guarding an ancient looking parchment filled with rune spells soaked to ward against the elements. It looks to be a map of some kind pointing towards a region hidden deep inside the desert. Probably loot, right? Quest complete. Desert Rose, reward 250 gold. Puzzle unlock the broken god. So that will unlock um, the puzzles for Jehora Jehayu. The view from your window darkens, even though it's barely noon. Something must be blocking the light outside. The panic seems mild at first, barely at Susurus level. I don't know what that is. Until your advisor bursts through your door. Hey, they found me! They finally found me! I thought they were safe. I thought I'd run far enough. They're unrelenting. They feel nothing. They fear nothing. What can we do? There's no stopping them. They see all. Please, my lead, you have to hide me. They'll they'll make me pay. Pay what? Your advisor's face blanches and his words end in a strangled squeak. Apparently something out the window has caught his eye. You turn to see a prehensile pneumatic tube snaking its way upwards your desk. The tube disappears upwards. There's no way to know where it's moored. With the hiss, the tube belches a Baroque capsule onto your neatly stacked potion procurement reports. There is an inhumanly neat message inside the capsule. It says, Dearest financially motivated organism, be aware that your earnings strategy has come under scrutiny. Previously filed adventure permit triplicates have been lost, damaged, or eaten. Profits must be forensically investigated and correct. Paper trail established. You will be audited. Do not resist. We're being audited? Oh, I see. They're auditing you. Your fastidious administratorship. Well, that certainly changes what I'm going to be doing for the <laughs> foreseeable future. Please do excuse me. I have some fires to put out. Literally. Us. It's us. So you can see I got a, a little less money uh, because I sold that trophy already. Oh, I should have did the uh, wizard's beard. Oh, actually, that might not matter. Hold on, where's the taxidermist? The taxidermist taxi. <laughs> I mean, it does look like taxi. Uh, well, yeah, I had sold one of that, so I probably would have dropped down to the 280. Odd as Zeppelin. Few things so terror like a strangled shadow passing overhead. Few terrors are as warranted as the gut-churning feet inspired by an audit. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop here uh, for a bit. Okay, fire back here, and we'll probably call this part uh, 5.2. Um, because, yeah, last was just one uh, dungeon. Um, and I was going to be back pretty quickly. Uh, uh, well, I mean, for you, it's instantly uh, that I, I'm back. Uh, but uh, um, yeah, I'm going to um, edit the two parts together uh, here. And all right. So let's see what we got. Quest unlocked. Hard rock. Only the guardians of the ancient rock labyrinth know why it's there. Such a pity that they'll kill anyone else who f tries to find out. Slay all of the bosses in this dungeon. 
all doing a lot of work there. All right, so, um, oh yeah, I got more puzzles. Unlock the Jahora Jehu. Um, see, I just unlocked them. Okay, uh, so I can upgrade the guild. Uh, yeah, I think I will do that. Berserker. Ooh, it unlocks the locker. Cool. Most honored kingdom administrator, your recent expansion of the local adventurers guild, while successful, demolished a nearby graveyard to make room for the bear hall. Now the local dungeon authority reports a growing population of angry wraiths trickling into outlying monster dens. They seem to be draining the magical powers of adventurers and an attempt to annoy the living crap out of everyone. Who's unleashed angry spirits? Ha ha ha! Ba dum dum tsh. All right, so I got locker slots. Um, we can store items, um, and that I uh, you can start with one. I uh, be one of the preparations. In fact, let's just go right to it. Uh, quest unlocked. Unlikely heroes. An ambitious band of elven warriors has taken it upon themselves to clear Venture Cave once and for all. They're unconventional bunch, but perhaps their determination will offset their oddness. Defeat Venture Cave with all three warrior classes. This only counts if you use else. Ocean's Elven? So I was actually going to probably be coming back to the Dead of Danger. Uh, oh, Venture Cave. Never, never mind. But yeah. Um, so we'll do uh, the second generation here, I think. All right, so we'll do a dwarf, and we'll do my beloved rogue. Yes, and oh, actually, hold on a second. I wanted to check the uh, what badges. Okay, so I need faithless. So I'm going to not worship a god and warmonger. So not using um, any glyphs for the entire dungeon. Dwarven Rogue. Alright, so I'll do Bet on Boss again. Um, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to do the Bear Mace. A Mighty Spoon! That's plus one damage, and actually it's a small item, so even though it's not a great item, it's not bad as well. All right, you know, I think I'll do uh, Warmonger. Um, yeah. Oh, I dodged. Yeah, so this is a Wraith. Uh, it does Mana Burn. Um, has 30 physical resistance and magical attack. Uh, they're nasty. Also undead, uh, so no no blood um, when they die. Just hoping for a dodge. Doesn't want to give me a dodge. Come on. I 
Good thing is I'm not really wasting anything because I'm exploring around, so. I'll kill this goat first, um, and then yeah, I'll try to kill them. Oh, of course, it gives me a dodge there. <laughs> You know what? Convert that. Get me another 10 hit points. I should be able to kill him pretty easily. Uh, actually, let's see what this level 5 enemy is. I was like, I could possibly kill them. Man, the change of dwarves is so good. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, as a rogue, getting 10 hit points, like, at uh, this point, because I'd have to be level 10 to get 10 hit points. Probably not going to be able to do them. Unless I got lucky and got crazy dodges. Oh, we got a Jin enemy. Uh, they got Retaliate. Um, and they do Magical Attack. But other than that, uh, not too bad at enemies. This is actually a decent money for rogues, uh, money, item for rogues too. Uh, it doesn't cost very much. It has a good conversion value too, so I'm gonna buy it. Um, and, uh, let's see. Okay, I'll level so, cause the, I'll get poisoned, but not a big deal because I'm gonna level. Oh, I dodged. Okay, I can probably kill them next level. to get to them. This is a good item uh, for the rogue. Yeah, it gives me some damage reduction. Ah, heck, let's buy it. I haven't really been buying anything. So, space buyer appears to not work yet to buy stuff, which is kind of fine. There's a level 8 enemy. I didn't see that. And they're an annoying zombie. Oh. There's the boss. Oh, shoot. Um, I might not be able to win. 
Maybe if I can convert mad stuff. Uh, yeah, because it's attacking. Okay, so it's not magic attack. So I can subtract 20, but yeah, that's... Oh my gosh. If there's Jahora Jahayu... Yeah, it might might actually be forced to retire. Um, that was kind of bad luck that it was this boss that uh, has insane attack power. Too. Um, if there is a god, they actually could end up being like over there or something. Oh, I was wondering, it looked kind of weird right there. I guess it's just, uh... oh, maybe it was from killing the enemy. Yeah, I mean, by just one death protection, um, I could have a, a chance. Oh, right. I'm stupid. I can't. Oh, if I, I need two more money, though. Oh, this is kind of bad luck if I bought those other things. Oh, uh, yeah, because I can get death protection from this. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing. I don't think I have any money. There could be money on the other side of them. Well, heck, let's just gamble. So if I dodge, I'll win. I do not. <laughs> the the smart move as far as like if I wanted to keep money. Oh, I can rewind. Wait. Where will that go all the way back to? Can I s s stop it? Okay, so I won't buy... Oh, no, it... So I wonder if I can always do that? But yeah, I was hoping, uh, like, to have not already bought the shield because yeah like it's not really gonna do me any good um you know i can gamble to try to attack him again all right i'm just gonna go run and retire uh, instead of yeah going back through it um 
Greetings, compulsive and wholesome kingdom administrator. If your adventures ever feel the urge to stash some particularly interesting loot after a dungeon run, you should take advantage of the guild's adventure locker. Select the building now. So yeah, I can uh, store... Um, Songs will be sung of this drag of a dexterous administrator. This item will stay in the locker until you're ready to use it for another dungeon run. It costs money you equip locker items just like other preparations. If you're unsatisfied with the locker choice, you can always replace it with something else. This will be useful. But yeah, so I can now like bring in that shield um or that the other item i grabbed okay it is a random boss yeah so i got unlucky um yeah let's just let's just try it again this time, uh, for fun, I'll take the bear mace. And then, yeah, I'll not buy anything. Because, yeah, if I did run into that same boss, I could kill them if I just had one layer of death protection. Oh, we got another another good item. This is actually definitely an item I'll, I'll, I'd like to start with. But right now, like I said, I'm going to wait to buy anything. Okay, so Gorgon's got first strike. Um, okay, so I got the bear mace. So I'm going to attack him this direction. Okay, so I can kill them uh, if I just heal one square. Uh, here's the negative of the bear base. Uh, I'll knock them, uh, you know, away, and then I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, I'm so close to being able to kill them, but I'll just uh, kill them. And I can probably almost certainly kill this goat. I will do the Gorgon, though, first. So that's the negative. Um, okay, 16, so I gotta hill two more squares. Oh, okay, I convert this and I'll, I'll be good.
Well, yeah, that might be too much. Okay, so we got Mystera, which is absolutely worthless if I'm not using any, any glyphs. Dude, I didn't mean to level there. <laughs> Dang it, I was hoping for a dodge. Um, oh, you know, I wish I converted before. Should be able to buy this sword. Yeah, actually, let's do that. That'll make a good difference. for a dodge. There was like no other enemies in there. I like kept on attacking them, and I was expecting uh, there to be something else, and I just kept on, yeah, not being.
awesome. Good dodge. Just need a dodge. Uh, okay, I think this is the one with the booster. Yeah, there'll be. Um I can't remember if it's always an attack power booster, but yeah, there'll be one to boost my stats. Where's the boss? Must be maybe over there. Yep. Are you kidding me? Okay, there better be that thing now. I'm going to be mad. I'm not seeing it right now uh, for the death protection. Okay, so we got the necklace. Shoot, yeah. Well, I guess uh, I'll gamble again. I mean, it's only a one in five chance uh, that I'll successfully do the dodge, but let's uh, let's try it. <gasps> oh, I did it! Sweet. <laughs> Okay, so that should make, give me the last two bat badges that I can get. Cool. Nice chunk of change, too. 606. challenge uh, difficult decisions <laughs> yes it was very difficult do i want the spoon or the sword all right so now i'll play the berserker um and let's see i'll do elf just because i don't play that much and also the increased mana will be good I 
I guess what I said it did was start with a perseverance badge. Uh, oh no, 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 this isn't the one, right. The other one looks the same, uh, but that one you can click uh, to destroy it and get a layer of death protection. We'd need the sword. All right, so the Berserker, um, you want to kill um, enemies that do magic damage because you start with um, 50 magic resistance. Oh, you get more inventory space. That's a new one. Cool. So you get five more um, slots or five more. Um, so that's one whole glyph you can carry. Um, so they have a negative in that uh, mana um, all spells cost two more mana and you get a 20% attack bonus so that's the positive of that um, so it's nice getting um, your base damage up because any base damage then gets the, the bonus and then you deal 20% more damage uh, anything that's higher level than you all right, but just because glyphs cost more does not mean we don't want to use them. Oh, okay, so I can kill that snake once I, I move them there and then uh, get back up to 10 mana. Oh, and then... Yeah, makes me think of the Tasmanian Devil, uh, the way uh, the character looks. Nashar Olitwig. So let me see is definitely not the best uh, for them, but I'll use it a, a couple of times before uh, I destroy it. And let's see what's down here. A mighty spoon. The sign here is old and faded. You make out only a few words. Speak of a lost and ruined tower known in ancient texts as Gone to Let. The secret of its location is protected by powerful magic wards, and the tower floors themselves regularly shift in and out of existence, ensuring that each new intruder meets a unique, terrifying challenge. No two tower experiences are ever the same. Glad it's lost. Or is it? Yeah, so wraiths aren't so bad, um, but I can't kill a level five when at level two, at least not without um, like some other spells. Gotta get my spoon, plus one base damage, so it keeps on helping with the increased damage. Uh, 
All right, I got end this wall and the burn duress. I'll be able to kill them too. Serpent, um, I think I'll Yeah, I'll just wait wet them out of the way. Alright, what boss we got this time? Okay, fine, I'm totally rip-off character, but I have permission to be here. Honest regards, super meat man. Let's -a go. Oh, right, I should actually use a little more. Let me see. I forgot. So I had that. Then I'll convert it so I can get, um, yeah, re refund, uh, or get plus one mana, which definitely with them, I want a higher um, capacity. Oh, I want to discover one of the enemies down there. Come on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> does not want to show me one. Like there's a lot down there. Okay, whatever. I think I'll just convert this Pizorf. Pizorf! Oh, did I see where God is? Uh, sorry. Would worship one. Um, yeah, usually with, let me see, uh, in the other, the original one, I'll like 
pretty quickly find um, the god. But yeah, it looks like it never showed up for me. That is stupid. Oh wow, they will level me up. I started to use end this wall. I was like, wait, what's going on? Oh, I am blind. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll worship her. Do I need inventory space? Uh, oh no, it looks like I'm good. Okay. So levels like these, you can really easily get blocked off. And that's why if I didn't have end this wall, I uh, would not worship. Oh, there's another spoon in here. I didn't notice that. Ooh. Ooh.
worshiping Earth Mother, it is a good idea to pick up stuff off the ground that you can get to just because it can very easily get blocked. Who they hit for? Oh, 43. So Earth Mother is actually, yeah, good um, with the meat men because they hit for less. So I can. Um, yeah, attack them more before uh, I gotta go hill. Any plants that we can get? Oh, yes, yeah, to kill that level eight one there. Oh, I got them too. Remove some plants, uh, get get me some mana back, and uh, yeah, get the plants out of the way. <laughs> Oh, there's a level one enemy right there. Um, double check. 
there is anything else. Well, there's more money down here. Okay, but no more, no more spoons. Yeah, I got blocked. <laughs> First spot I can get one. Just wanted to get one mana. Oh, that's so annoying where they spawned at. Oh, you jerk. Okay, I leveled it anyways. Okay, so yeah, let's just uh, go uh, grab that. And then we're just going to exit. Meatloaf! Would they do anything for love? I would do anything for protein. Even that. All right, so I'm going to stop here again, and yeah, I'll make uh, the last one and this one, one video, uh, so it's longer. All right, uh, thanks everyone for watching. This is Fire, and we're on fire.